Hey guys, Mike Binder here. I'm going to show you how to play Writings on the Wall by Sam Smith. Um, first chord you're going to want to learn is an E minor. And make sure you have a capo on the first fret. To play an E minor, you're going to start with your middle finger on the A string. That's two strings from the top. And then your ring finger on the D string second fret. That's three strings from the top. E minor to G. To play G, take your middle finger, go three frets on the E string. And then take your ring finger and go three frets up on the B string. That's two strings from the bottom. And then add your pinky to the third fret high E string. So E minor to G. Strum pattern goes down. that two times for the intro then we're in the verse and we'll do that two times C, you're going to do your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the A string. You're going to take your middle finger, 2nd fret, D string. And then take your index finger and place it on the 1st fret, B string. That's 2 strings from the bottom. And then to a B7. To play a B7, take your index finger and place it on the D string first fret that's three strings from the top take your middle finger place it on the A string second fret that's two strings from the top take your ring finger place it on the D string second fret that's three strings from the bottom and then your pinky on the high E string second fret so these fingers skip every other string here and then your index goes in between there so back to the verse you'll go after you do the E minor G twice, you'll go C. You'll go C to a B7. Do that twice. And then we're in the chorus. And for the chorus, it goes E minor. So it's just a quick walk. So you're going to go E minor. So E minor, tw two strums. And then we'll do a D and an F sharp in the bass. To play a D, take your index finger, place it on the G string second fret. That's three strings from the bottom. Middle finger on the high E string second fret. And then ring finger on the third fret B string. And if you can, take your thumb and go over the top and press down on the low E string 2nd fret. It's just going to go E minor, D over F sharp to a G. And then a C. And then the second time, instead of going to a C at the end, you go to a B7. And then after that, it goes E minor, D, C, D, E minor, D, C, B7, and then an A minor. To play an A minor, you're going to take your index finger, place it on the B string first fret, two strings from the bottom. Take your middle finger, place it on the D string second fret, that's three strings from the top. Take your ring finger and place it on the G string second fret, that's three strings from the bottom. And then a B7. Then you'll go through that whole arrangement again, 
Um, so back to the intro or reintro. E minor to G. Just one time this time. The first intro you do it twice and the second intro you do it once. And then you're back into the verse. E minor. G. We'll do this twice. A C, B7, C, B7, and then we're in the chorus, B e minor, D, G, C, B e minor, D, G, B7, Breaks. D, C, D, E minor, D, C, B7, then A minor, then B7, and then does the instrumental, so E minor. second half of the chorus. E minor, D, C, B7, A minor, B7, and then the final chord for the ending, E minor. Thanks for watching, guys.